What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with another 2-in-1 AEW Unrivaled review on the brand new AEW Unrivaled Collection Series 10 Andrade and Jake Hager figures. I'm actually excited for both of these. I know a lot of people aren't really caring for the Jake Hager, but I'm super excited for it, actually. I'm, I'm actually intrigued to see what we have going on here. I have some ideas for some potential stuff. I think both of these guys have great potential for epic fix-ups, and you guys know that when we got shown this Andrade figure, I said that I'm putting everybody in those Yankee pinstripe pants. I am going to put every single person we've seen in AEW figure form in those pants. Okay, probably not every single person, but you guys get the point. I'm putting a lot of people in these pinstripe pants in this video, so stay tuned as we dive into that. Perfect base for a lot of different things going on. I think you could get, a, like, I think this is, I'm in a, a no Andrade left behind mood. Depending on how these legs are, I might be in the same mood for the Jake Hager. I love the head sculpts we're seeing on these. I'm excited, man. I'm really, really excited to see what we got. I think we have some upgrades slightly to these figures, and I'm excited. I can't wait to, you know, crack them out of the packaging, find out what they're all about, but you do have your front viewing window of Andrade and Jake Hager over here, two former ex-WWE guys. You got their names in gold foil down the side. Jake Hager is number 82, and Andrade is number 86. On the back, you get an epic image of the magician and Jake Hager there. Rest of the figures in the wave. You guys can, again, let me know down below if you guys think it's a bust or a great set. Let me know down below, but that pretty much wraps up Andrade and Jake Hager's accessories. I mean packaging. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. But with all things considered and all things being said, let's crack Andrade and Jake Hager out of their packaging and find out what they're all about. So here's Andrade and Jake Hager out of their packaging. Liking what I'm seeing so far. Haven't got to get into all the details. I like to leave some of it up to surprise and the rest of the review, of course. But, you know, I'm enjoying them so far. I do have a bunch of gripes about some of it, and we'll get into all of that. But again, I haven't broke down everything. You know, we may it may shock me and stuff like that. But what we're going to do is get into Jake Hager's accessories and Jake Hager. Then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Andrade's accessories and Andrade. And, of course, get into our comparisons. So getting into Hager's accessories, starting out with the head sculpts. Just got to give a clap up for Jazzwares, man. This head sculpt just absolutely murders his last head sculpt. I can't even do a comparison because I'm pretty sure I threw that shish in the yard. This looks so much better. The color of the hair and facial hair, the eye color, the head likeness and shape. Who is messaging me? If it's not my wife, I'm gonna throw a fit. Oh, thank God. This head sculpt's beautiful. I think they did a fantastic job. You even have the IC and the little three strips over here. Of course, this is from the Blood and Guts match. Inner Circle you guys get the deal there. Beautifully painted. Job well done on these. Look at the second head sculpt. I do have a mark right here. I don't even know what that is. If that's like the blonde paint, may have to acetone it. But beautiful likeness again. You get the same IC. You get a great sculpt here. This is such a good head, bro. Both of these are so good. And I love the expression. You know, I love to get two different interchangeable heads here. These look beautiful. Great job to Jazz Wears and the design team. These look great. Outside of that, we do have, I want to say these are new hands because they look slightly bigger than the old hands and they do have hand tape on here in black because he did have black hand tape and wrist tape and it looks to be new hands like they, I think these are new they look a little bit bigger than the regular you know normal young bucks and esque hands that we saw from the series one figures and stuff so these look really good you also have the same hands but in like this gripping pose and see this this is like slightly different I feel these these look slightly bigger and slightly different than our previous hands we've seen but they have the black hand tape on there as well and skin tone pegs which I guess uh they, they can both work I don't think it's a huge deal because sometimes you know you have a little bit of skin tone in there. I don't know, but nice accessories. So we're gonna get a Jake Hager starting out with the head sculpt. We've already covered it. It looks good, but I can just go ahead and tell you, man, this figure absolutely beats the dog shish out of his first figure. Like, not even close. This figure is so much better, man. This head sculpt looks way good. I like the prison jumpsuit. I know it's very, uh, sort of specific, right? It's gonna be very specific, but I would say, like, even if you don't want the prison jumpsuit and you wanna throw that away, just get it for the like something else like just get it for the head sculpts like this is so much better than his first figure but does say inmate here it's got a nice sculpt to it one thing i don't like is that the edges of the torso are like ripped up but it's skin tone painted so you guys can see here there are the little tears and rips in the shoulder there which is a bit weird you know it's just kind of i don't know it's kind of just an odd thing but on the back it does say hager you got the el reno prison there you got the black prison jumpsuit going on going down one thing you're going to notice is my right arm is backwards you guys can see they gave me two left arms except 
this one's like, you see what I'm saying? Like, this is clearly the inner part of the arm, and then that's supposed to be like this. So this is a left arm put on my right side. So that is a mistake. Hopefully I can get that fixed at some point. You got the black wrist tape, black hand tape going down into the crotch. It is, you know, it's continuous, but you can't switch the torso, which we'll see in a minute. But I like these legs a lot. You even got pockets sculpted in there. Nice wrinkles and articulation going throughout. One of my biggest gripes with the figure is these feet, man. They're absolutely massive. They're huge, but you do have the, like, boot detail at least. The colors are cool. Like, the red and black look really cool in the figure, but they're just, they're just, they're just huge, man. Like, good God. I like the sculpt, though, and, like, the different stuff that we have going on. Let's back this thing up so you guys can see just how different this figure is. Look how much beefier, man. Like, good God. This guy, this guy's a unit. But for your Jake Hager figure comparison, here is the Unrivaled 6. Like, just look how much bigger this one is. It's borderline jack size, but I think it it's better, right? I, I think it is better. Here's a Wardlow figure. I don't know. Maybe he is massive, you know? Maybe he is way too damn big. Good God. This Jake Hager's massive. Is this how big of a difference that is? Is he supposed to tower over him like that? Good Jesus, man. He's huge. He's massive. He's enormous. Christ. Like, dude, he is so much bigger. That's out freaking, that's just insane. But if you wanted to see what this head sculpt looks like over here, I may have put this on with heat. God dang it. Nope, I got it. Alright, so putting this head over here, just for the shishes and gigs. Uh, it definitely looks better. It's just like his head is so damn big. God, this figure's massive. I don't know, does that work? Does it look like it works? I can't tell if it works. Nonetheless, pop this off and then pop this off and put this over here. Now it looks like he has a short torso. I don't know what the hell's going on, man. Look how slumpy Dumpkins he looks. Like, he looks like he's like, Arr, Arr. God, I don't know what's going on with all this. This Jake Hager is just a mountain of a man compared to the other. Good God in heaven, how big is this mother effer? I don't even know what to say at this juncture, except get out of my face. What is Wardlow still doing on screen? Here's our new Miro. Put Miro in the dead gum pants. Look at that. Now look at him. God, dude, these legs are massive, dude. Jesus, heaven. They're just, just, everybody you put in there just looks so damn, I don't even know. Like, look at him. He just looks so crazy. I don't even know what to say. Get this off. Who else can we put on this? I got the next biggest dudes that you could possibly get. I got Archer and Luchasaurus just to see what could come of this. And Lance Archer, I think, works. I think you could make that work right there. Yeah, I, you know, he's got an oversized head and stuff. He's just got tiny baby arms, bro. God, the scales. They're gonna get it. They're gonna get it. It's just, they didn't got it right now. Here's Luchasaurus. Pop him on here just to see what this looks like. God, does that even go in? I think it goes in. It's just you're not gonna have any articulation. But I guess that could work too if you really wanted it to for whatever dumb reason. I don't know. So getting into Andrade's accessories, let's start off with the terrible, the terrible rubber jacket coat. Suit jacket in the pinstripes. Had this been cloth, how good would it have been? How cool would it have been? And he doesn't even have his undershirt on there, so that's a whole nother deal but making this rubber sucks man maybe if he even had like a cloth vest in black with this over it maybe that would have been a little better but still the rubber accessories just do not get it done for me man you do have some cool sculpts on here with the pockets and the little handkerchief and the freaking buttons and the stuff going on but at the end of the day it is a rubber jacket no posability plug the major wrestling figure podcast clip like, oh my god that goddamn fucking old school mattel stuck in that pose jacket gonna get it out of my face. Then you have two interchangeable head sculpts. Kind of a theme with AEW and Jazz Wears, but I feel like the eyes are too close together or something like that. I know that his eyes don't fit perfectly in there. Maybe this is completely accurate, but you have like your sugar skull, full black leather mask with the hair coming out of the back. It's pretty cool. It fits on the figure well. I like it. You know, it's, it's not my favorite of all time, but I like it. It gets the job done. Outside of that, you have his regular head sculpt, and I think both of them suit the job. You know, I think they both do well here. You know, it, it kind of a blank stare expression, but it still has nice sculpt and paint apps and stuff kind of flat you know i think it works i think it works skin tone's good i like the hair sculpt and everything like that i don't know if it's better than mattel's but it's still really good i think they did a good job on it and uh there's the mask head sculpt side by side so you get two different options there one for entrance and one for wrestling i guess you could wrestle in it too but you get the point point. and then you have your regular wrestling hands and these look to be new man these are new hands these are absolutely new hands i don't think we've seen these before with this like grippy shape kind of a weird like c clamp or something like that and then you have his gloved hands which is is kind of the same deal. Nice sculpt on there. These look to be new hands as well. So you got the sculpted gloves in there. They look really, really good. I like that they're not just painted black hands. They actually do have the hand sculpt in there for the gloves. So these look really good as well. And they look good on the figure. So that, that wins for me. 
So with Andrade starting out with the head sculpt, again, I don't think it's as strong as Mattel's. I really don't. I think that the lightness is good. I like everything going on with it to a certain point. But at the end of the day, I think Mattel's is slightly better, but, you know, I'm sure they're going to improve on it and stuff like that. This is the regular head sculpt. I have him stripped down to his wrestling gear, but fits on the figure well. I like this torso. I think this is a first-time torso. I don't think we've seen this torso before, so it looks good there. I like the arm size. I like everything going on here. I think it looks like Andrade with the black wrist tape. You do have the white slacks with the pinstripes, the pinstripe pants. Been talking about it a lot. Been waiting on them. Here they are in all their glory. Very good articulation and feel in the hand. I just, I don't know, man. I feel like Jazzwares are slowly but surely going away from WWE scale. Is that is that insane? I feel like some of their figures are way too damn big, as you guys saw with Hager, but pants look really good. My lines are pretty consistent for the most part. Anytime you have these lines like this, I mean, I'm probably going to be a no Andrade guy left behind just for multiple copies of these pants for either slacks or whatever, but shoes look good. These are his actual wrestling boots, so that's cool that they have that detail in there. They did a really good job on that. I like this a lot. It's not like the most exciting figure of all time, but I like it a lot, man. I think that like going around and stuff like that, you have some good sculpts and pants and slacks and the pinstripe pants just make the world go round, but I do want to maneuver this guy a little bit. He can look down pretty good and look up pretty good because he's got the ball hinged, not just the peg, but good shoulder articulation. Again, we don't have that weirdness going on. Very fluent and nice. My arms aren't backwards. They feel really good. Like, all of this. All feels good. All feels really great. That came off because of the ab crunch. Ab crunch is good. You do have the ball joints. He can kick forward really. Like, dude, that's a really good kick forward right there. Double jointed knee. You have the upper thigh cut, double jointed knee, like we said, and the lower leg cut, which is great. The ankles go down and up. You do have a foot rotation as well and an ankle pivot. So, this guy can articulate really, really well and he feels really good in hand, man. I really want to acetone all these stripes off and just have a guy in white pants because I think you could you, I don't know. The sky's the limit with that. You could I mean, there's so many different guys you could do, but let's get into some figure comparisons. Let's compare this guy to his NXT Elite and you guys can see, man, he's just so much bigger. God dang. Jesus in heaven. That's a big that's a, that's a big figure, man. I guess like it does scale with some other figures, but it's also too big for some other figures. You know what I mean? Like here's MJF compared to the Mattel. You guys can just see like the scale of these is not always correct. Like some are just much bigger and some are smaller and we got to get a handle on that, man. That can't be an issue here. Like, it's not terrible. And I guess, like, I don't know. I know this isn't completely comparable. Maybe this is too small, you know? I don't know. But I like the Mattel figure a lot, but I also like the Jazzwares figure. I don't I don't know. You guys can let me know. I think this is more accurate skin tone, but, you know, I think the likeness is there, and I, I'm just gonna shut the hell up and start putting people in these pinstripe pants. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and go through the people in the pinstripe pants. Here's an unmatched Kenny Omega. I just wanna see, you know? I gotta see. I gotta know how some of these guys look in these pants. Jesus Christ, hold up. I don't want to snap this. So there's Kenny Omega. Put him in the pinstripe pants. I don't know. Looks pretty damn good, Brad. Looks pretty damn good. A little bit wide on the on the waist there, but he's got a great ab crunch in there. Not that he doesn't already, but that looks pretty good. That's not bad. Pinstripe pants. Cody, not above pinstripe pants. Again, it's just because they have that wide waist right there, but I guess you could probably get away with it, especially if you put clothes on there. And then we also have MJF, which I think could capitalize on this, of course, but putting MJF on there, uh, he's a little bit... uh going around town, but he looks good, you know? I, I, yeah, it's not it's not horrific, but yeah, I don't know. Still love the pinstripe pants, though. Always love the pinstripe pants. Andrade's looking good. I like the fit, dude, this figure feels so good in the hand. It's kind of hard to describe, but yeah, you get it. But I think that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 AEW Unrivaled Series 10 Andrade and Jake Hager figure review. Enjoy both figures a lot. I do hate that my arm is backwards on my Jake Hager. At least that's what it looks like to me. I don't know. You guys can be the judge. Also, I feel like uh, both of these guys' feet, maybe not Andrade's. Andrade's, I guess, aren't that bad, but Jake Hager's feet are massive, bro. They are absolutely massive. Huge. They kind of scale well when you're far away, but when you get up in there, man, it is it is pretty ridiculous. We saw that with Adam Hangman Page figure from Series 2. Kind of unbelievable that we're in Series 10. Like, it was, I want to say we saw them on display at New York Toy Fair or something like that. February 22nd of 2020, I remember that day specifically that they were shown off for the first time, the painted prototypes of the AEW Unrivaled Series 1 and 
Spider-Man 2. I remember that day vividly because it was the day my son was born. So that is the reason that I remember that day so vividly and that's how I know that it was shortly after that that we got the figures in hand and now we're all the way into Unrivaled Series 10 two years later. So that's kind of insane. As we continue to get more lines, more unmatched, more exclusives, more two packs, more Supremes, which what we're waiting on, still patiently awaiting the Supreme figures. These are also pretty damn good. This, this Hager is head and shoulders above the other Hager that we got. It's a lot better. I like the formula better. Better head sculpt. Great head sculpts, honestly. I like the head sculpts a lot. Andrade is a very fun figure. I love the pinstripe pants like I knew I would. Very articulated and stuff like that. But that is pretty much going to wrap up the review. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you'd like to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles to save yourselves 10%. Use the code MDTOYS, of course. But go over there, grab these figures. Before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout-out. And this shout-out goes to XX Grim J O W X X. This video definitely made me want to grab both when they hit retail. Still wish the Miro had his TNT title. I hope Wardlow stays in AEW personally, but as long as both companies are running, it's good for everyone. I appreciate the kind words. I'm glad that the reviews do something for you guys. I hope you guys do enjoy the reviews every single time we put one out of any new products, whether it's AEW or WWE, but I agree. You know, I'm, I'm fine with Wardlow staying, but I just felt like I, I could see him in WWE. You know, I could see that happening one day in the future. We'll have to see about that, but I love him in AEW too. I think he's a future world champion. He is a boss, but I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed day. And enjoy the pinstripe pants. You cross the line, I've been